If you want students to manually enroll in your course, you may need to add that method. So we'll click on the settings icon and click on more. You can click on the users tab. And then what you're looking for is the self-enrollment method. That one's not added here yet. So we'll add that by clicking enrollment methods. Um, you may have to choose it from the drop-down menu. Um, in this case, I had one here earlier. So I'll just make sure it's visible. And I want to edit these settings. Here's where you make, you'll make sure that you have an enrollment key set. So you'll decide what you want that key to be for that course for your students. And then you can go through and look at these settings. Um, you, the course would send out a welcome message when students enroll if you want to. Um, but you'll give that key to your students if you want to see what the key is. You can click on reveal. In this case, I just put ELA 12 for an example. So that's set. Uh, now we'll go in as a stu student and see what that looks like for them. The student will log into the site, search for the course that you want them to enroll in just by entering it here. So in this case, I can see this one needs a key to enroll. This is the one that I'm looking for as the student. I'll click on the course and here it's asking for the enrollment key. So I'll type in the one that my teacher gave me. And now I'm added to the course as a student. Next time I log in, this course will be listed in my navigation bar.